Thank you, Haley. More breaking coverage tonight after those three schools in Thermal were evacuated today after students reported a classmate with a gun on campus. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia is live in Thermal tonight with what parents are saying and the new details now being revealed by police. Jake. Yeah, and Karen, this is what school officials say they were practicing for as recently as this week. They were even supposed to have an active shooter training drill here today, but instead had to evacuate for a real threat. Parents seen being reunited with their kids after nearly 4,000 students were evacuated Wednesday from Las Pamitas Elementary, Toro Canyon Middle, and Desert Mirage High in Thermal. We're getting calls from our children saying that there's um, someone with a gun in the in the school. Police say two middle school teenagers ages 13 and 14 have been detained after students reported a classmate with a gun. It was first seen by students at a bus stop earlier Wednesday morning. I was talking to my daughter. My daughter's terrified because she's in the field and she's hearing um, that there may be there was a shooter there. When police arrived on campus later, another student was in possession of the gun in their backpack and police found what appeared at first to be a hand grenade but was later determined to be just a toy. We take these situations extremely serious. At a press conference on campus Wednesday afternoon, Sheriff Chad Bianco said his department's response could have been faster and emphasized his position that law enforcement should be positioned at schools. It took us 10 minutes. So thank God and, and God willing that nothing, nothing happened today and nothing, there were no disasters. And while district officials celebrated the evacuation as a success in which no one was hurt. This is evidence that it is working very well. Some parents disagree. The school is not very transparent with us right now and it's making us more scared of our kids safety. They didn't handle it good at all. They could do better. Now I asked Sheriff Bianco if his department plans on pressing charges against those two teenagers. His response was quote, of course. I asked the district as well about disciplinary consequences, something like an expulsion or suspension for those two students. Their response was that they will be quote, determining the consequences of that behavior. Now school is set to resume here at these three school sites tomorrow. We're live in Thermal tonight. Jake Gracia, News Channel 3. What a day and thank you, Jake. We will continue to bring you breaking updates on this story on the air and on our breaking news app as sheriff's deputies continue with their investigation. You can download that app for free. And again, officials say no one was injured during today's incident at Toro Canyon Middle School.